Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Traders, yesterday I said that these markets lately, it's so two-sided, you don't know which way this is going to go. And what did the markets do? They run up to the 1422-24 area, turn around and crack to the 1390s. Low 1390s, I think it even traded 1390. The markets are whipping around. Sometimes it's up for the day, it turns around and gets smashed back down on even what you think are going to be a solidly bullish day. And it's happening on what you think will be bearish days. The market's going down and whipping back up. So the volatility is here and the markets are quite indecisive at these levels. But it looks to me like the 200 bar moving average, which most fund managers around the world are watching, they even show it in TV land. The market, the 200 bar moving average has rejected the NASDAQ and the Dow. They hit those averages, bingo, and dropped. That is starting to make something happen on my board. I walked in today to do a video and look what I found. It says, don't fall. If you remember for, I don't know, nine, eight, eight, nine months, we had don't fall in love with the upside. It was our theme. And then finally, a couple of weeks ago, I said, you know what? Let's erase that off the board and see if we could play a little upside here. And luckily, thankfully, right, everything went up. But now I start to do analysis and like a ghost, it starts to reappear. So I don't know for sure what will end up being the results here from this. But I will say that I have shown you many times that inverted head and shoulders in a market that's bearish usually just produces a rally and then goes down for lower lows. An inverted head and shoulders works much better in a bull market. It comes down a little, puts in an inverted head and shoulders and goes up for more. So we may very well have experienced our dead cat bounce. We'll see what happens. You know I've had one foot in a bear camp, well, two feet in a bear camp for a long time. And then I threw one foot in the bull camp and said, we'll test the waters over here and see what happens. Well, I've been testing the waters and I don't like the action that I'm seeing. We've had some big outside reversal days down. We have what looks to be a mirror image in many markets, although I can't exactly qualify it. It's not perfect, but it looks very much like a mirror image across the board in the indices. But you do have strength coming in the dollar right now. So, you know, the markets are still at a pinnacle. They still don't know what they want to do, but they are being rejected by a major moving average that many of us follow in the industry. With no further ado, I want to show you a couple of charts that will illustrate that to you and then see what you think. But I'll say this, red omni on the board today, green omni yesterday, it's just up and down just like we expected it to be. And the beauty of that is being that we were able to call this period where the market would start doing this and we knew that would happen, that means that our analysis is working well still and we're right in tune with the markets. And now I think the downside might have to be visited tomorrow. That's Thursday, May 8th, 2008. Today's May 8th, right? Yes. Yeah, baby, I got the date right. Hey, follow me. I get dates right and everything. All right, so. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the charts right now. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Yes. Okay, traders, the first chart you are looking at is the Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar Chart. And look at this, traders. I just told you that what I've noticed happens many times before is that an inverted head and shoulders in what is a bearish market does not usually hold very well. You get a bounce that flips over and goes back down after the inverted head and shoulders and it comes out. Well, with that theory in mind, look at the 200 bar moving average and what it's doing right now to the Dow Jones market. It has kept it in check. It had tried to get above it two days ago. It stuck its head up momentarily and came right back down. And then Wednesday, they pounded this thing into the ground and it looks like Thursday they're gonna want more. Interestingly enough, we have what you call a flat top here in most of the indices that follow the NASDAQ. 
and flat tops in the NASDAQ usually produce drops in the market. We have one back here, market drops, we had one here, the market drop. We now have what you can consider a flat top in a lot of the indice markets. This is just another one of the indices, and again, flat tops will usually get you drops. So the 200 bar all important moving average is keeping us in check. We've come out of the inverted head and shoulders. We used to have a little steam on this, but it seems to be running out. We don't know if that's going to happen for sure because we are proactive analysts that analyze these things as they happen minute by minute. So I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you if we're here tomorrow or not. But the analysis tells me that this is really beginning to keep us in check and give us a problem with the markets. And crude oil is $123.50 a barrel. A barrel, I said. Uh, imagine that price, guys. Could you imagine that? That's crazy. No. That is not going to help this market. So with that moving average holding us in check and many, many indicators, which I don't have on the board, but many indicators are pointing south, I think tomorrow we call a red omni on this one. Let's look at another chart and see if we can drive this point home a little bit. Okay, traders, the next chart you're looking at is the NASDAQ June daily bar chart. The NASDAQ June daily bar also has a flat top, and flat tops, as I will illustrate, give you drops, flat top, drop, flat top, drop, flat top, drop. Flat tops usually create drops in, hey, that should be a poet here, right? There, a little poetry from me. All right, flat tops usually create drops in the NASDAQ and the S&P and the Dow Jones, if you look back at those charts. We have a flat top here, we had one here and broke, here broke, here broke, here broke, and the all important 200 bar moving average comes in right across the flat top. So traders, I don't have a choice with all the other indicators pointing south, I have no choice but to call that a short. And there's one of the reasons why right there, we have many things that we look at before we call trades, but I'm showing you one of the basic tenets that you should follow if you're going to call along from a short. That's the NASDAQ. Let's look at one more chart. Okay, traders, the next chart you're looking at is the S&P June daily bar. And in the S&P June daily bar, we consider to be a follower of the NASDAQ. NASDAQ leads the S&P around. I've watched it long enough to know that many, many trading days, that's the case. If that is true, then we never even got to the 200 ball moving average in the S&P, and we've already put in what looks like a mirror image and a big drop is starting. So it seems we are at a pinnacle area, as you can see with those other big markets at the 200 ball. They could easily turn around and run up and anybody getting short will get caught. Trading is not an easy thing to do, traders. It's one of the hardest ways to make money in the world. Or as we say, it's one of the hardest ways in the world to make the easiest money. But it is not easy and it is risky. It, yes, it could go up, but technical indicators are telling us that we have some downside coming. So once again, another confirming indicator from this chart and the other two that we should be looking for the downside for Thursday. Let's see what we get, traders. Do your own homework. So you've seen the charts. Traders, I kid you not, the way those charts look, half bullish, half bearish, you got to keep the dupes up. You got to dodge and parry and punch and duck and throw that right out there in the left. And you got to watch what you do, but you got to keep bobbing and weaving because if you don't, you're going to get tagged in these markets. So be nimble out there. Look for the short side tomorrow. May 8th, 2008, we have a red Omni in the S&P and in the NASDAQ. The S&P, the Omni says to sell in the low to mid 1400s. That's below the teens, traders. If it gets up somewhere in the, from 1400 to 1410, somewhere right in there, you traders got to get in. You traders at the Omni Academy, you know where we're getting in, so go look at the site and make sure that you get in on time. Omni's profit objective on that trade, if you get in once it gets above the 1400 mark, is the mid to high 1370s. So I'm looking for a little bit of a drop here. On the way down, you should get some support around 1385. So if you get short up there and it starts to come off, you may see some play around 1385. And if it gets through that, 
you got the high to mid 1370s to get yourselves out. And that would be a great trade if we can get it. Again, traders, this is a very tricky area in the markets as they are trying to make up their minds if we're going to continue the bear or if this little leg up that we've seen can gain some legs there and get a little strength and move higher. So it's tricky and you're going to have to trade both sides until one of them emerges. Okay, traders, we got, we got, we got. This Friday, check this out. I'm the X. Remember when we did the radio show? We do them every Friday. But remember about three weeks ago, they told me to have all the Omniacs call in. Well, that was great. A round of applause for all the Omniacs. We blew out their phone lines. They couldn't handle our business. They couldn't handle the Omniacs calling all at once. Well, check this out. This Friday, 9 a.m. OST, which coincides with Eastern Time, we get to do that show again, and they want all of us to call in. They're going to let us have free reign on the show, so we're going to be omniacting like crazy out there. So traders, make sure you show up at the site on Friday morning and get yourselves onto the radio show. Call in, call the radio show, and we'll chat live on the radio. We'll have a great session. There are fantastic economists that sit on the panel with me for that radio show. They talk about stocks, they talk about the economy, and they're very good at what they do. So call us, and the three of us will answer any questions that you have. Should be a blast. Omniacs, make sure you call in Friday morning after 9 a.m. All right, and round of course for that radio show. Yeah. Next on the docket, the Mandalay Bay is finally in how many days? Six. Oh, no, that's so Five. far off. How many? Five. Five days from now. Actually, we have we can get in there on Sat on Sunday to start setting up. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be there on Sunday to start the setup. So we'll be there in a couple of days. But we are doing the money show at the Mandalay Bay, and we want you on the X to come on down to Vegas and come to booth six thirteen and come hang out with us at the Omni Trading Academy during the Mandalay Bay Money Show. I have a speaking engagement on the fourteenth in the afternoon around four p.m. and it's gonna be fantastic. Now that 4 p.m. is actually, I don't want to say whose time it is. Whose time is it, Bob? <laughs> it's Eastern, oh, it's Vegas. I yeah, it's that West Coast time. I don't acknowledge I live in Eastern time zone. It doesn't matter where my body is. I live in the Eastern time zone. But at 4.15 in the Western time zone, I'm going to be doing a seminar. And traders, that should be great. Hopefully all of you on the actual show up. And we'll do one big stops or in emotions around together because those videos you guys have been sending in are great. And we should have one. Do we have one for the end of this yeah, video? We'll throw it in. We got one for the end of this video. So take a look. The videos people send in are other Omniac sending in videos of themselves saying stops are in, emotions are out. So we love getting them traders. So keep them coming. All right. Round of applause for those guys. Thank you for those videos, traders. We thank you so much. Okay, traders, don't forget what appeared on my board over here. It's going to be a great time for a close-up, right? Don't fall in love with the upside. Well, I don't know that that's going to come back on the board, but slowly it's reappearing, and keep that in mind. Maybe we're going to have to go back into sell rally mode and forget about this little leg towards the upside. Again, traders, I can't say it enough. It's a very tricky area, and if your analysis is giving you trouble, don't sweat it. Keep doing your analysis, trade through this. We'll be out of this area shortly, and life will look normal again to your analysis. So, don't lose faith. All right, traders, send me emails anytime you want. Please, I'll answer them. As you know, shoot the emails out to oscar at futuresanalysts.com. If you'd like to get us on the horn, that's no problem. Give us a buzz at 702-629-4755. And I don't know if there's anything else I need to say here. Are we good? I'm going to say yeah. Yeah? All right, so... I'll agree. Don't fall. Don't fall. <laughs> We're only at don't fall, but maybe it'll be in love with the upside. Let's see what happens. All right, traders, don't forget to say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. Make sure you say it over and over and think about what you're saying when you say it. Because if you think about how smart it is and how simple it is to do, it will really help you with your trading. And you know what that is? Stops are in. Emotions are out. Hello, traders. My name is Kyle. My dad is a trader. He is in Oscar's Trading Academy. Oscar is a very, very clever trader. He teaches me and my dad a lot. Right now I'm going to 
tell you what I've learned from Oscar. Head and shoulders, upside down, head and shoulders, down days, up days. I'll, this is a graph what I've done during the week. S&P daily. I always tell my dad to remember this. Stops are in emotions are out. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.